If you're coming from my previous video, I showed you how to create a subdomain. In this video, we're placing a fresh install of WordPress on our new subdomain. If you haven't set up a subdomain for yourself yet, check out this video where I teach you how to do that. Aloha everybody, welcome back to the channel where my goal is to help you make better WordPress websites for your community, yourself, and your clients. Now placing WordPress on your new subdomain is much like the same process of adding WordPress to any domain. You do want to make sure that you understand it is a separate website with its own domain name, its own directory, files, and database. Once again, I'm working in Bluehost, but this process is pretty much the same no matter where you're hosting from and where you set up your domain name. So if you're ready, open up your cPanel, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and let's get started. Okay, so now that we have our subdomain set up for our staging website, we are gonna now place a fresh install of WordPress on our website. So open up your cPanel, and somewhere in your cPanel, you should be able to set up a WordPress installation. And you don't want to select this WordPress manager by Sophilicious that is not installing WordPress. You want to come down here to the scripts that install WordPress right here. Okay, this is apps installer. So we're just gonna go ahead and press this and it will give you some additional information here and we're gonna go ahead and press install now. And then now we need to select our install URL where we're gonna install this. And we want to select our new subdomain, which is our staging. And we want to go ahead and leave this empty. Make sure you have the latest version. Now this information you could change later, okay? You do wanna make sure you could sign into your account. So I would change these first of all, and then write them down so that you can make sure you can log into your website. Okay, so once you have your credentials filled in, you want to go ahead and click install. I'm not gonna select any plugins and I'm not gonna select a theme. So let's just go ahead and select quick install and then you can select install. So this might take a couple minutes, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that our WordPress website is installed, let's just go ahead and log in. Okay, and it takes us to our website. Now, just because this process in the back end of your host happened quickly, you might need to give it a few minutes and refresh your screen before it updates the domain with the, the host and handles all the files and the database, et cetera. And so then we could also, just like any other WordPress website, go to forward slash WP admin to log in. Got an extra one there. Okay, so you should be sent here to your login. Again, you might receive a few 404 pages, error pages as this is loading up. Otherwise, just refresh your screen until it's all set up for you or just wait a few minutes and come back. So go ahead and log into your WordPress website. And so once we are signed into our WordPress dashboard, you'll see that we have a fresh install of WordPress. Instead of cleaning all this up like we would on a fresh WordPress install, we are gonna replace this entire website with a copy of our website, okay? So what I'm gonna show you in the next step is how to transfer over our main site to our staging site. And there you go. Now you have a fresh install of WordPress on your new subdomain. Check out this video where I show you how to set up a staging environment so that you could better manage your WordPress website and its different iterations and changes that you may make along the way. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, make sure you click that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Subscribe for more content just like this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Aloha.